Hi everybody and welcome to HMK Storytime where this is episode 2 of Tara and Ted. Now we're going to go straight into the story so let's get on with it. I am not. There was a knock on the door. Go and answer it. He won't walk in. I told him to come in said Tara. Yes but this is your house and he won't said Rebecca. They both got up and walked down the stairs while Rebecca got her coat. Tara opened the door and Ted was standing there. I said to let yourself in. Your house. I won't do that. Told you, shouted Rebecca. Come in and get out of the cold. Rebecca walked up to them both and kissed Tara again and then smiled at Ted and ran her fingers along his chest. Be a lot nicer when you have a shave. Don't have a razor. You could tell I was dead. And with that she laughed, closing the door behind her. Tara blushed. Go and take your gear off in the kitchen, please. Okay. Why did you call me Tara? Shut up and drink this. Tara handed Ted a drink of rum, and he shrugged and sipped it, looking at Tara. What? said Tara. Nothing, said Ted. Tara turned away from him and led Ted up the stairs into her bedroom, and he stood in the doorway drinking the rum. Don't say a word, Ted. Ted still stood there looking at Tara while she undressed and blushed when she turned around. Tara laughed and kissed him. Over the next few weeks, Ted and Tara started going out and their friends were shocked. But Tara was happy, even if she had to be strong with Ted. He was a brute and a sexy pig, but he always got her flowers and always made sure she was happy and he was romantic which had not been something Tara or Rebecca had known. The weeks passed into months and the following year Ted asked Tara to marry him but she said no. What did you say no to him for? asked Rebecca one day when they were at work. <coughs> I don't love him. Tara, you have been dating for over a year now and he's in love with you and you've been so happy. I know, but it would be unfair. Well, where is he? Have you broken up or something? I said I needed some time. That's been weeks ago. Don't you know everyone saw how happy you were? Well, yes, but I wanted to be sure, so ring him. He's not answering, answering his phone. Well, are you surprised he asked you to marry him and you said no and you expect him to answer his phone when you call him? Have you not gone over to to, to his? Knocked on, it, knocked on his door? He's not there. Tara started to cry. Why did you not tell me? Because he's a brute and sexist and I wanted to make me happy and I was happy and alive with him. And when I said no, I saw the hurt in his eyes. Oh, Tara, you should have told me. I hate him and I love him and now it's too late and he is gone. Does no one know where he is? No. He left me a note but I have not got a clue what it means. Tara handed Rebecca a note. The gate will close on the next visit to the Rose Garden when winter falls and summer blooms. What the hell? said Rebecca. I don't know what it means, said Tara. At least it has a heart and a kiss. The days and weeks passed and Tara wondered what had happened to Ted. Even her friends saw how unhappy she had, she had been when Ted had left without letting no one know. Tara came into work one day smiling. What has happened? asked Rebecca. This. Tara handed a letter from Ted to Rebecca. He's where? On a bike ride, but he's coming back in the next few weeks. He's coming to pick you up, right? I don't know, he just says he's coming to see me. You got the letter, what do you think? With Ted, that's very hard to say. That night they went to the pub and had drinks and chatted away to their friends and they danced. What are you going to do when Ted arrives? asked Rebecca. I don't know. It's so hard to believe, Tara, said Ted. Tara spun around and jumped into Ted's arms kissed him and then stood back and slapped him and he did nothing but smile. Rebecca did the same and they both asked where the hell he had been. For a bike ride of course, why did you miss me? And he laughed. You ready said Tara? No, good. 
and he smiled. Ready for what? said Rebecca. I don't know, said Tara. Tess smiled and walked over to the jukebox and put on a song that Rebecca hated but had come to love. It has come for you, hasn't he? Yes, Rebecca, he has. Go and be happy. Rebecca hugged her friend and started to cry with happiness. Ted came back with drinks. I'll be back in a few moments, ladies. Tara grabbed Ted's hand. Don't go. Why ever not? Just don't. And Tara kissed Ted. Ted sat down and smiled. You know what, Rebecca? That's the first time she kissed me. Rebecca looked shocked. A man walked in, all dressed in a suit and tie, and leaned down and whispered into Ted's ear. OK, I'll be there soon. Who was that? Ted stood up, got his coat, and held out his hand to Tara. Last chance, Tara. Are you ready? No. Good. Take my hand and take a chance. Go, Tara, said Rebecca. But once I walk out that door, Tara, I'll never be coming back, said Ted. And he smiled. Tara took his hand and Ted pulled her close to him. You know the deal, Tara. I know. And she smiled. What's going on? said Rebecca. I'm getting married, said Tara. No way. Yes. Ready? asked Ted. No. Good. Let's go. Sorry, Rebecca. Invites will be arriving soon. Go and have fun and don't you dare break her heart. No, I've always loved her, said Ted. He leaned over and kissed Rebecca and then took Tara's hand and they left the pub forever. The end. Thank you for watching these two episodes. I hope you enjoyed the story and I would just like to say a big thank you to Northampton Shears Writers Group because they have helped me tremendously for all my story writing because when I first knew nothing about stories they said one important thing to me write how you feel that has always been why I write because I just love writing it's great and to have a book on your bookshelf that is all your own work dream come true have fun and we'll see you again on HNK Storytime where we'll do something else bye for now <laughs>